Folks, the war on Christmas. It's starting early. It's starting early. Uh, so it's actually not even December yet, and the war on Christmas is here. Nationwide Christmas tree shortage affects some DMV tree farms. Whoa. So this is from Centerville Va. With Thanksgiving over, families have now begun the process of finding the perfect Christmas tree. By the way, can we talk about how bleak it is that we're in the middle of a fucking pandemic? People are dying. Millions of people are getting sick. There's a new variant that's going to kill us all. People can't even afford, like, food for their families for Thanksgiving. But yeah, we got to go get a new tree. The fuck? Christians are... I, I, I mean, Christians, man. Like, they're... They're crazy. I mean, I, I, I got many friends that are Christians. That's, you know, they're all great people. But I mean, like, man, oh man, this shit is crazy. So let me get this straight. You're going to bring a tree in your house instead of feeding your, your kids and your dog? What? What? Now, obviously, you know, you know, people that are affording Christmas trees are, you know, it's not like, I don't think anyone's actually skipping meals right to uh buy a christmas tree but you know it's possible some people take that shit really seriously but again i just think it's really funny that the supply chain shortage somehow like what there's a supply chain shortage from china what does that have to do with trees don't these don't they come out of the fucking ground like how are we having a short supply chain on motherfucking goddamn nature this shit comes out of the ground you plop a little fucking acorn in there and boom comes the christmas tree the fuck but anyway let's read deb carl and her husband mark already made two stops at nurseries before arriving at the parking lot in centryville where a mitt rogers christmas tree farm set up shop they had oh my goodness maybe a third of the supply that we've seen in the past years i don't know why they're british and they're tiny they're cute but they're like charlie brown trees so we decided to come here uh, again not sure why they're british but they are it's fine I have nothing against the Brits. Uh, part of the reason she struggled to find exactly what she was looking for has to do with the Christmas tree shortage. How is that possible? Like, it it, it comes out of the ground. <laughs> what? There's a tree shortage? Like, I don't know, man. That shit's crazy. We do wholesale, but we've cut our customers back a little. Uh, about 10% of each customer. And we're not even taking on any new customers because we don't even have all the trees. We're, get some more trees. I, like, so I don't know what's going on here. About a decade and a half ago, growers had too many trees. Well, what the, I, I, what is that? How do you have too many trees? You just leave them there. They suck the carbon out of the atmosphere. You're good to go. What the, how do you have too many trees? This is like, again, only Christians could find themselves in an environment where there's too many trees. Like, think about that. Think about that. Why is all of this happening? Christians, they're at it again. These motherfuckers. First, the Crusades, God help us, right? Then the decades and centuries of puritanical oppression. And now, and now Christians are telling us we have too many trees. Well, that was actually 10 years ago. So the Christians said we had too many trees. They cut down all the trees and now there's not enough trees. Thanks a lot, Christianity. So what else do we have here? It takes about a decade for them to grow and more people are looking for live trees. The demand has grown. Yeah, okay, here's another thing. Uh, population growth. Population growth. So if it takes 10 years for a Christmas fucking tree to grow, oh, not that many people are buying trees this year, so let's cut down our supply for 10 years from now. What? What? How about this? You keep growing more trees, and then if no one buys the tree, wait for it, you just have a tree. Whoa! Whoa! Like, that you just have a tree now. All right, that's crazy. Who, who would ever want that? Richardson says he's tried to keep his costs low, increasing prices by about $10, but others say the increased price is significantly higher than that. He also manages to keep his sense of humor. Lots. God damn, that's great to hear. He's got a sense of fucking humor. I think you can look around and see that our quality is pretty good. It's a tree. When you're a grower, you can keep that quality. Sell somebody else the ugly ones. It's a tree. What does that mean, an ugly one? It's a tree. The fuck? Only Christians would find, would make a way to like not only bring trees inside the home. The whole reason we built a house, by the way. The whole reason that we as humans collectively decided let's build houses was to get away from the trees. They want to bring the trees back in the house. That's cool. That's fine. I'm fine with like, you know, like an atrium or an arboretum inside your house. That seems like it would be nice. Like have like a house that's like 
you know, a giant square and it's got like a carve out in the middle where there's a tree coming out. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like a, like an O, think of an O, but like a 3D O, right? Like a donut, except in the donut hole is a tree. So there's like a tree in the middle of your house. Like I'm down with that. That's cool. But they're not doing that. They're bringing these trees inside of their houses. They're cutting down trees. Now they, they got too many trees. Now they don't have enough trees. Again, only Christians would find themselves in this uh, predicament. But again, now this is like a Christian civil war. This is like a, this is like, this is the war on Christmas from the inside. These motherfuckers were playing the long game. They had some spies up in here 10 years ago. They were playing the long game. They're like, all right, 10 years from now, we're going to strike. And what we're going to do now is we're going to blame the financial crisis. We're going to stop growing trees. And then in 10 years, there's going to be no trees. And then all hell's going to break loose. The war on Christmas, folks. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but again, uh, fuck those trees. Uh, well, actually, don't fuck the trees. That's, you know, you want to leave them in the ground. Um, and then also, fuck, uh, you know, fuck Christmas, honestly. Like, I, like, maybe it's just because I come from a broken home, but, like, almost all of my Christmas memories are pretty horrible. So, fuck Christmas, fuck you, fuck your trees, fuck Jesus, and stop fucking the trees and leave them alone. That's all I have to say. That's the end of my segment. Goodbye. So, we got Max the dog here once again. Max is very clingy today. You're a clingy pup. <laughs>